Good morning, class. Today we're continuing our discussion of Chapter 3, looking at the analysis of one quantitative variable. Right now we're in Section 3.2, which is looking at a descriptive statistic called a box plot. So a box plot is a graphical display. Specifically, a box plot is a graphical display of the five number summary. So we looked at the five number summary in section 3.1 and today we're going to look at a graphical display of the five number summary using a box plot. So with a box plot, one thing that happens is you're going to, on your y axis or the vertical axis, give yourself a um, scale that's appropriate given the data. So here I'm going to jump by 10, so 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. So you would have an even spread between all of your ticks or hash marks. So 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, actually we need to go up to 60. So you're doing that based on what your data is. So here we're going from 11 to 55, so 10 to 60 is an appropriate scale for your y-axis or the vertical axis. So down here, you would normally label what the variable is. So here, let's say that the variable is um, dollars per hour. So if you're working at a job, how much money you're making. So the box plot, since it's a graphical display of the five number summary, when I draw these, I just put a little dot everywhere that there's a number. So we would have 11, and then about 21, about 29, 36 and 55. So when you actually create the box plot, the box itself is going to be made up of Q3 and Q1. So then the line dissecting the box is the median. So remember from the lecture that we had in section 3.1, a lot of times median is just shortened to a capital M. So that's the physical box of the box plot. Then you would connect a line from Q3 up to the maximum, and you would draw a line from Q1 down to the minimum. So that is what a box plot is made up of for the five number summary. One thing that I'm going to add is a measurement that we use to describe variability or spread. So one way that we describe variability or spread is through what's described as the range. So the range is going to be the distance from the maximum to the minimum. So for this data set, we would have 55 minus 11 or a range of 44. Another measurement that we can use to describe variability is something called the interquartile range. Now that is quite a mouthful, so a lot of times that's just shortened to IQR, and that is the distance between Q3 and Q1. So for our data set, that's going to be 36 minus 21, which gives us 15 as an interquartile range. So both of those are measurements of spread or variability. So range is the distance from the maximum to the minimum, and interquartile range is the distance from Q3 to Q1. So a box plot is making up all five numbers of the five number summary, and this is an example of a simple box plot.